Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. Okay, so today we are going to do the part 2 of finding the remainders or finding the last digit of any number when it is divided by 10. Okay, so why have I written both of these because actually when you when am I saying that you need to find the remainder or find the last digit okay so find the remainder means what you have let's say if we have a number 2 for raised to 43 okay and you need to find what is the remainder when it is divided by 10 now that is absolutely equal to finding the last digit of this number of the numerator that is nothing but 2 raised to 43 okay so there are two kinds of question both of them can be solved using the same tricks which I'm going to show you in this particular video so the video previous to this one was uh, the one where you would do the same thing for numbers uh, 0 1 5 and 6 and today in this video we are going to do sums related to numbers which end in 2 3 um, 2, 3, 7 and 8. Okay. So, yeah, we are going to do these many numbers. For 4 and 9, I am going to make another video which will be pushed in later in this week. Okay. So, this is part 2 for now. Okay. Now, for you all, it is very important that you pay attention to all the tricks which I am showing in this video because actually 4 and 9 is much easier if you know this particular trick. And without fail, at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a question, the answer of which you will mention in the comment section. Okay, this is a very nice exercise because you know what, whenever I teach you anything, it's very easy for you all to watch the video and think that, okay, okay, now I know this. But if you immediately put your mind to exercise and use the tricks which I've shown you in the video, trust me, you will not forget that trick very easily then. Okay, so now over here, First, we have to understand there is something called as power cycle. So, what is a power cycle? Let's first look at this. 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3 and 2 raised to 4. Here, let's look at what are the last digit when I have 2 raised to 1. So, that is just a single digit. So, it's 2. 2 raised to 2 is 4. 2 raised to 3 is 8. 2 raised to 4 is 16. So, I'm just going to write the last digit over here. Okay. Now, let's look what happens to the last digit when we have, okay, I'm just going to put a line over here so you all don't get confused, 2 raised to 5. Now, please understand over here, actually 2 raised to 5 we all know is 32, okay? But in case if you don't know, all you need to do is just multiply this last digit with 2 and find the last digit of your answer. So, 6 into 2 gets you 12 and I am just bothered about the last digit. So, my last digit over here will be 2. Similarly, the last digit over here, 2 into 2 will get you 4. Here, 4 into 2 gets you 8 and 8 into 2 gets you 16. So, now can you see that after every 4, fourth power of 2, my remainders or my last digits are actually repeating itself. I cannot have any other last digit except for 2, 4, 8 and 6. Okay. So, can I say the power cycle or rather after every fourth power of 2, my last digit gets repeated. Okay. So, here you have to remember that for these digits 2, 3, 7 and 8, the power cycle remains to be 4. Okay, we'll see for each of them, but as of now, I'm just going to explain this with the example of 2. Okay, so now if you have, which is called as 2 raised to 43, and you needed, your question was like, what is the last digit of the number 2 raised to 43? Then what you would have to do is nothing but take the index, that is 43, divided by the power cycle, which is 4. Okay, and 43 divided by 4 gets you the remainder of 3. Trust me, that is not your answer, okay? This is the second last step of getting your answer. The next step is you take this remainder and put it as an index of your last digit, which is 2 over here in the question. So, 2 cube gets you 8 and that is my answer for 2 raised to 43 divided by 10. That is my remainder, okay? And if I wanted the last digit of 2 raised to 43, my, remain, my last digit would be 8, 
okay now very quickly let's look at another sum 2 raised to 9 0 6 9 what is the remainder when it is divided by 10 or the question will be something like this 2 raised to 9 0 6 9 what is the last digit so simply here also I am just going to be bothered about finding the remainder when divided by 4 now we, have, we know I have already made a video of this that how to find a remainder okay when divided by 4 for 4 the logic is just divide the last two digits and whatever is the remainder that will be your answer for the whole number as well so here also I'm not going to be bothered about dividing 9069 I'm just going to divide 69 by 4 and when I divide 69 by 4 my remainder comes out to be 1 and so my final answer will be 2 raised to 1 so that's 2 which is the remainder in this case and the last digit for this particular question okay now coming to a bigger question let's see instead of this had I given you something like this 9 7 8 4 6 2 the whole raised to 3 1 5 now if you had to find the last digit in this particular case then what would that be simply I'm going to divide 3 1 5 divide by 4 my remainder is coming out to be 3 so my final last digit would be 2 cube which is nothing but 8 okay now let's understand why I did this see understand my this particular principle is going to be applicable for all the numbers no matter how big the number is you just have to be bothered about the units place okay why because we are just trying to find the last digit so the last digit will be bothered only by the units place so instead of this had I given you 0 or 1 or 5 or 6 then you should apply the principles which I have taught it in the previous video and get your answer okay so now let's look at what is the cycle for 3 3 raised to 1 is 3 3 raised to 2 gets you 9 3 raised to 3 9 into 3 gets you 27 so last digit is 7 3 raised to 4 is 7 into 3 is 21 so last digit is 1 so similarly 3 raised to 5 gets you 1 into 3 gets you 3 3 raised to 6 again 3 into 3 gets you 9 3 raised to 7 9 into 3 gets you 27 but my last digit is nothing but 7 and 3 raised to 8 7 into 3 gets you 21 so my last digit is 1 so you realized how easy this entire sum now becomes I'm just going to apply the same logic for 3 as well okay so let me take a big number 7 2 8 3 the whole thing raised to 9 9 9 divide by 10 now you need to find the remainder so simply I am just going to divide 999 9, 9 by 4 and I am just going to using the divisibility rule I am just going to do 99 divide by 4 so that is going to get us the remainder of nothing but uh, 3 and so my final answer is 3 raised to 3 gets you the last digit is nothing but 7 or the remainder is nothing but 7 27 sorry in this case okay so the remainder will be 27 and the last digit will be nothing but 7 okay so now let's look at a another sum where uh, let's see we have 5 2 9 6 3 the whole raised to 69 what's the last digit so we will divide 69 by 4 my remainder is coming out to be 1 so my power is 3 raised to 1 nothing but 3 is my last digit okay now similarly let's look at 7 I said the power of 7 also comes out to be the same way students if you like the way I'm explaining please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos 
Also, students, it tells the YouTube algorithm that these kind of videos are actually going to be helpful for anyone who is looking for tips and tricks related to mathematics. So, in a way, you are going to help someone else also around the globe. Okay, so now seven ones are seven raised to one is seven. Seven raised to two is forty nine. But I'm just bothered about the last digit. So nine. Seven raised to three. Nine into seven gets you sixty three. The last digit is three. Seven raised to four. Three into seven gets you twenty one. So last digit is one. Similarly, seven raised to five. Seven raised to six. Seven raised to seven. Seven raised to eight. Here we get a seven. Here we'll get nine. Your will get three, and your again will get one. So I hope you've realized that how the power cycle is going to be the same for seven as well as eight. For eight, I'll not explain because now you can just go and physically check as well. Okay. So now let's look at what will be the last digit when we have five, one, two, three, six, seven, the whole race to two thousand eighteen. So here again, I'm not going to use the whole number. I'm just going to divide 18 by 4 using the divisibility test, and that gives me the remainder as 2. So here, that gets me 7 raised to 2. So my last digit is 9. Okay. Now, uh, let's take another number. Um. Okay. But let's take uh, 97, 97, 97, 97, 97. The whole raised to 7, 7, 7. So again, let's do this. So seventy-seven divided by four gets us the remainder as nothing but one. Okay. So my final answer is seven raised to one, which gets you just seven. Okay. Now let's do the same thing for last digit being eight. So if I give you something like this, four eight four eight four eight, the whole thing raised to eight eight eight. And let's do one more eight. Okay. Now, if we need to find the remainder, मतलब if the question was if this is divided by ten, find the remainder. What you do? Just divide eighty eight by four. My remainder is coming out to be zero. I'm sorry. Yeah. In this case, my remainder is coming out to be zero. But my final remainder will be what? Please understand, students. This is very important. So you have eight raised to zero. My final remainder will come out to be one. Okay. So you realize how this is important. This last step is the one which lot of students make a mistake of not following. So that is one thing which I want all of you all to remember. And please use these tricks in order to solve the questions which I'm just going to give. Okay. Um. Mm, before that, let's do one more sum. Uh, five, nine, six, eight. Okay. Let's do this orally. Okay. So if that is raised to two thousand and twenty-one. So now twenty one divided by four gets us the remainder of one. So my final answer would be eight raised to one, which gets you eight. Got it? So it's so easy. You can actually do it in just two seconds. Okay. Now let me give you a few sums. Uh, tell me what will be the last digit of this particular number? One two one two one two one two raised to four four nine. Okay. And the next one. This is the first sum. The next sum is tell me what is the remainder of seven two three eight seven. The whole raised to nine six seven. Okay. So do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for now. Do stay tuned to my channel because the next video which I'll be uploading is the last two digits which are left in out of all these series. That is nothing but for four and nine. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.